In this video I will solve the series parallel circuit. Now in this circuit, as you can see, the question says that the voltage between P and N terminals is 20 volts. Uh, resistance of A is 5 ohms. Resistance of B is 2 ohms. Resistance of C is 10 ohms. And D is 20 ohms. And we're trying to find the current through resistor C and voltage across resistor D and the power dissipated by resistor A. So let's get started. Let's start by finding RT. So to find RT, we'll have to solve this series parallel circuit. And from this circuit, you can see how resistors B and C are in series. So we'll start by finding that. Let's say we're finding RBC, which is going to be RB plus RC because they're series. Two plus 10, we get 12 ohms. So that's our first part. Next we can see in the circuit is RBC and RD are in parallel. So we're going to find our equivalent resistance of RBC and D, which will be one divided by one over RBC plus one over RD, which is going to be one over 12 plus one over 20. And that gives us 7.5 ohms. And then we can find RT, which is just RA plus the rest of it, because that's in series, so RBCD, that is 5 plus 7.5, giving us 12.5 ohms. So that's our RT. So let's wire our circuit. Now in our circuit, a resistor A is resistor 5. And then from there, the circuit should go to resistor 2 from resistor 2 it's going to resistor 10 from resistor 10 the circuit is returning to the supply that's one path another part of path of the circuit is going from resistor 5 to resistor 20 and then from 20 back to the supply now before I turn the power on, I think I should try and measure the total resistance of this circuit. The total resistance of this circuit with all its tolerances and changes is coming to around 14 ohms. With this RT, we can now find IT. So let's find that. IT is just ohms law VT divided by RT. VT is 20, that's the voltage across P and N, and RT is just what we found, 12.5. So our current in one, is 1 1.6 amps. If I turn the supply on now, then we should be able to see the current on the panel meter. So considering it was 14 ohms, as we can see that even though our calculations show that our current was supposed to be 1.6, we're only getting 1.49 or 1.5 amps that's because of all the tolerances in the resistors. Since we've found this current here to be 1.6 amps, that means the current through A is 1.6, we can use that to find power. So PA is equal to IT squared multiplied by RA. So that is 1.6 squared multiplied by 5, and that gives us 12.8 watts. Next, let's find VD, the voltage across resistor D. So VD is really, if you think about it, if I subtract this voltage from the total voltage, I will get this voltage. So that's what we'll do. VT minus VA. And we don't know VA, so VA is equal to IT times RA, which is 1.6 times 5 so 8 volts. You can put that number here, 20 minus 8, 12 volts. That's our VD. Let's measure all the voltages individually. The voltage across resistor A, which is the 5 ohm resistor. Voltage across resistor D. So finding IC, IC if you look at this circuit, it's really 
this current here which is really the total current minus the current that goes in vd or, or the resistor d so it is it ic equals it minus id now we don't have id yet so let's find that id is equal to vd over rd vd is what we've already found earlier 12 volts divided by 20 so that gives us 0 0.6 amps since the total is 1.6 take away 0 0.6 we get 1 amp so to measure the current through resistor c As you can see, our IC is 0.94, which should have been, according to our calculations, 1, but we're getting 0.94, which is quite close. So now we've found all our answers. IC, that's 1 amp. VD, that's 12 volts. And PA, that's 12.8 watts. I hope all of this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it with them. And also subscribe to this channel if you want to get regular updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.